I've had some really nice feedback on the paint scheme that I've decided to use on my Into the Dark set, the painting of the Space Hulk, the Gallo Dark. Space Hulks have a, a great history in 40k, uh, specifically in the name of the game, Space Hulk, which is one of the best games that Games Workshop ever came out with, in my humble opinion. Uh, the last edition was just beautiful. The Blood Angel Terminators, the Gene Stealers, everything just spot on. So when they announced recently that the Gallo Dark was a Space Hulk and it was going to be a Kill Team setting, uh, and more, a season, so we will get even more of it, fabulous. I'm in. I'm totally in for that. There is so much in the box. There is a huge amount of scenery in the box. And it's fantastic. Beautifully detailed. I can't recommend it highly enough. But because there's so much of it, I want to be able to paint it quickly, easily, and well. So I had to come up with a scheme. The first scheme that I tried was bronze. I wanted an, an antique look, and bronze seemed to be the way to go. Didn't work. Failed miserably. Hated it. I nearly put it in the bin. Hated it so much. So I took stock and decided, how am I going to go about doing this? And I took, as part of my inspiration, uh, the movie Event Horizon. The Event Horizon is a ship in said movie. It's basically one of the best Warhammer movies that isn't a Warhammer movie, because it's all about what goes wrong when you invent warp drive without inventing a Geller field to go with it. Top tip, don't fly into hell to get from place to place without a Geller field. So anyway, Event Horizon, great movie, great sinister looking starship. And I looked at it and I realised that for me, what was making it work was the light. It's not just the, the big, dark, scary spaces. It's the use of the light that they've got in those spaces. So I realised what I wanted to do was do something dark, but really highlight the lights that are there. So every single panel um, has decoration on it. There are wires, there are switches, there's plugs. Fantastic. In, in the dark future, we are using three pin plugs. And I'm here for it. But most of the panels also have lights on them, like little spothead bulk lights, big neon lights, panels that, that light up, monitor screens, all sorts of things there. And I've done the walls very dark, pretty much black, but I'm putting spotlight on as much as I possibly can and taking advantage of all that fantastic detail. Now the core of what I'm doing is that everything is black and I've then very gently, very carefully dry brushed Inky by Darkness on as a highlight, a smudge in places. And then I've coloured the, the different panels and the light fittings and what have you, um, playing around with those in brighter contrasting colours to make them stand out against the dark. But them standing out against the dark is what makes the dark even more effective. So it's going to finish up being a very claustrophobic, very scary area for those models. And believe me, if this was Toy Story and those were Andy's toys, they'd be in for a nightmare time on board the Gallo Dark. But yeah, the secret to my success with this uh, particular scheme, uh, it's just black. It's literally just black, and then I've done Incubi Darkness as a very faint highlight dry brush, uh, and then I've emphasised all of the details on each section of wall. That's the tutorial. Do it black, give it a bit of inky by darkness love, and then paint your, your decorations, uh, the, um, the details, however the heck you like, and have fun with it. And I'm looking forward to seeing what other people do with theirs as well. I've seen some great examples already. Um, I'm going to really crack on over the next month or two and see if I can finish that. Uh, really, really enjoying it so far. So, thank you for your time. Take care.